People visited wells for a variety of reasons and one of the important things is that a lot of wells have well dressings and so on and there are festive days, there are saints days. So on the Isle of Man you've got Lea Brescia, which is the day of, of Bridget or Brescia and almost certainly on that day you would make a visit to the well. We're on the rocks here at Niabal and um, we found some flitters, they're good and healthy, they're on the rocks here, they're feeding on the algae that's on there. Now to collect the flitters, what we usually do, we take um, a semi-sharpened stick like this and I place it by the flitter and just give it a... Crush is the word, Max word for cross, and kern is from the, the Max word for the mountain ash tree. And they would make them at um, this time of year, just before May, to ward off evil spirits. You put it up on your back door and on your front door to ward away the evil spirits for the year. On the last day of April every year, we burn the butch, as they call it. The idea of it is that when you burn the butch, you're burning the evil spirits away. If you get things going against you, things not going with us this year, like you see, the evil spirits is on us. Somebody's wishing us bad luck. And if you can listen carefully when the bush is burned, you can hear the squeaking of the spirits getting burnt out. Both being equipped as proper emblems of the beauty of the spring and the deformity of the winter, they set forth from their respective quarters, the one preceded by violins and flutes, the other with the rough music of the tongs and the cleavers. Both companies march till they meet on a common and their trains engage in a mock battle. Manannan ruled with kindness, and so the people of the island paid a rent to him each year. We had a pretty good deal, really, because all they had to do was bring green rushes to the top of Brule on Midsummer's Eve, which is St John's Eve, so in Fail Yon, the festival of John. And they'd cut the reeds at the bottom of Brule and take them up and give them to Manannan as their year's rent for living on his island. Lair Lunis comes from the Celtic Age on the Isle of Man. It is Lunis Day, dedicated to the god Lug, who was brought up at the court of Manannan, the great Celtic deity of the Isle of Man. Part of the celebrations of this day was going to the top of the hills in the Isle of Man, where they would do things which the church would later describe as wicked and superstitious. A babin namelia. It was made from the last sheep and it was, uh, they would have a party afterwards and it would be part of the party. So it was a kind of a, a celebration of the end of the, the harvest. The actual um, celebration of Hop Chine would be around our own neighbours. Uh, we would go to the houses close by and sing our Manx version of Hop Chine. And usually, I think we got money. I don't think we got sweets in those days. I think it was money. Yes, it was and money. The idea being that you would do very well on the money and you could buy your fireworks with them. Well, we've come to uh, Scolfert Le Borough to start to uh, hunt the rain around Port St Mary. We've had uh, the lovely Caroline Helps telling us all what to do and bossing us around and showing us uh, how to do the dance. So we started at the school and then we've moved around the port and we've been dancing in lots of different places around Port St Mary and everybody's been having a wonderful time and the weather's been great for us. Yeah.